Hey everyone, today we're going to go over how to calculate an eigenvalue. So first off, you know, quick briefer on what an eigenvalue is and, you know, how we compute it. So first, an eigenvalue is this value right here. So how do we get that and what does that actually mean? We'll go through that now. So first, since so we had a matrix A and that had A, B, C, D, and we had a vector V is v1 and v2. An eigenvalue is, you know, what scalar value could we multiply times this vector to get that same result. So theoretically we could get, have an eigenvalue and multiply times the same, you know, vector over here. So same v, so v1, v2, where these results, where this result and this result would be the exact same thing. So that's a brief overview on, you know, what an eigenvalue is. So we're trying to compute this for a two by two matrix, not in the general case, just a, you know, an easier version of this. So to compute, like how do we actually, you know, compute the eigenvalue? It could be computed using this formula right here. It's the determinant of a minus, uh, <laughs> a minus <clears throat> lambda times the identity matrix, the identity matrix being one, zero, zero, one, looking like that and setting that equal to zero. Basically, after some, you know, you basically could simplify it down into this equation, and we're gonna go through how you actually do that. So, but before we do that, we probably should understand, you know, what does TR mean and what does determinant mean and how do you compute that for a two by two matrix? Uh, first, TR stands for the trace, and the trace of a matrix is just the sum of the diagonals. C, D. So the trace would be A plus D. The determinant for a two by two matrix is relatively simple. It's basically, let's say we have the A, B, C, D matrix right here. It's A times D minus B times C. You know, so that's the determinant for a two by two matrix and that's how we compute it. Now let's go through how we actually, you know, got from here to here. So let's get out of here. And we'll say, let's say we have the determinant of A minus lambda I, and we want to set that equal to zero. So let's say we had a matrix A, and that looked like A, B, C, and D. And we subtracted that minus the identity matrix times the scalar value of lambda. So that would look like lambda, zero, zero, lambda, lambda. <laughs> And we want the determinant of this. So we would get, like this would simplify down to a matrix of A minus lambda, B there, not zero, C, and then D minus lambda. And we would want the determinant of this. So we would take this value times this value. So it would be A minus lambda times d minus lambda, and then we subtract that by c times b. And so now if we expand this out or multiply this out, we would get a times d, then minus lambda a minus lambda d plus lambda squared, and then we could take this value and add it back here, minus C, B. Now we could simplify this down a bit more. So let's put this in a nicer order. So we could take lambda squared, and we could take, we could take uh, the other lambda, so it's lambda A minus lambda D plus A D minus C, B. So this is the same exact thing, we just reordered it a little to make it a little easier for what we're about to do. Um, so the trace of a matrix of, the trace of the matrix A, B, C, D, trace of that would be equivalent to A, let's say A plus D. So here we could basically take out lambda squared minus, we could take out a lambda from this and we'll be left with a, 
let's say we take out lambda, or we take out a negative lambda, so we can add this. And left with lambda times a plus d. And then we are given that value, and this is the same thing as lambda squared plus the trace of a times lambda. And that could be added to this. And this is, as you remember before, the determinant of a. Determinant of a. So we're given this. Oh, hold on. I'm pretty sure we made a little mistake. I think it's lambda squared minus the trace of a times lambda plus the determinant yeah, of a. Small mistake there. So this should be minus, not plus, as we stated above. And you can see that that's the same exact equation we have here. OK, so continuing from here, so now that we have lambda squared minus let's say, tr of a lambda plus the determinant of a. Now that we have this, and we're going to set that equal to 0, we need to solve for lambda. So in order to solve that, we could use the quadratic equation, which is minus b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And to do this programmatically, you basically solve this. So theoretically, this would look like minus b would be the trace of a, negative trace of a, plus square root of trace of a, a squared minus 4 times 1, because there's nothing here for the a, times c, which is the determinant of a, all of that over 2. And then you do the same thing, except you would switch this to minus. And you'd get two values for lambda as your final result. Um, so this is basically how you would compute you know, the eigenvalue for a 2 by 2 matrix. Um, doing this programmatically is relatively simple. You would just need to compute. Once you get the trace and the determinant, you just need to plug those into you know, this formula. And you would get the results. Uh, you could try out this problem and similar problems on my website in the description below. It's called Deep ML Elite. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day.